Hi, I'm Zach with Hardy North America, and today we're going to talk about setting your constant pressures. Your constant pressures are found on your EVC valves here at the bottom of these, these valves right here. One thing we like to always remember is when you're working with a sprayer that's had a chemical ran through it, is you wear your proper PPE, which is your face shield, your long sleeve coverings, uh, both pants and uh, arms, as well as uh, gloves. Today we are working with a brand new sprayer and we just filled it up with clean water so I'm not going to be wearing that today. It's important to set these constant pressures because if they're not set properly, once you turn off or on a boom section valve, you're going to see an increase or decrease in pressure. This is always best done with two people. That way you have one person at the back working off the gauge and the valves and then you have one person in the cab that's turning the valves on and off. So what we're looking for here is we're going to look at this gauge here and when, when Ben sucks the, shuts the section off, we're looking for a pressure decrease or increase and when that happens we're going to adjust the pressure back. So it's easiest to start with a, with a pressure that's easy to read. So right here we're running at about 45 psi. So when Ben shuts that off, you see that pressure jump up to about 50 psi. So now what we're going to do is we are going to decrease that down to back down to 45. We're going to turn this valve at the bottom and now we're back up at 45 psi. So now we're just going to go continue the whole length of the, the boom to do this. As he shuts it off and we see number two come on, we see number two has dropped to about 40 psi. So now we need to increase this one. So we're going to turn the valve so we get back to 45 psi, okay. and then Ben will turn that one back on, and he'll shut the third section off. This one we need to decrease a little bit. So we're gonna open it up just a little bit, back to 45, and that one is now set. Now what we'll do is now we have all of our valves calibrated. I'll have Ben turn off half the sections and what we'll see is we'll see that gauge dip down and return about right where we, where we left it off at. So this is extremely important for suction control. But we'll see a little bit of a dip in it when it uh, has the valve opening and closing but then the idea is it's going to return back. Here at Hardy we recommend calibrating the constant pressures anytime you change nozzle sizes. So for an example, we started here with a blue and we want to go to a yellow nozzle, we would need to reset our constant pressures.